La parola all'onorevole Dodds per un minuto e trenta. Thank you, Madam President. In relation to bovine EID, I am supportive of the need for a voluntary-led approach, which means that duplication of management systems will be remo removed. In theory, this should lessen the administration on uh, farmers and managing authorities. Member states should have the flexibility to decide the system which best suits their own farmers, livestock markets and processors. In the United Kingdom, the majority of farmers do not use electronic management systems and it would be unfair to make EID compulsory given the impact on farmers but also the lack of tangible benefit for the consumer and taxpayer. Sheep EID has proved to be nothing short of more unnecessary bureaucracy from the Commission. A 100% accuracy rate uh, has not been possible given the failings in technology. And unless the Commission takes a more pragmatic view here, then farmers in Northern Ireland, in the United Kingdom and throughout Europe will be unduly penalised under cross-compliance rules. It is important, therefore, that the Commission tackle the problems within the sheep sector before imposing other unnecessary rules on beef and dairy. As we move forward, we must have an approach that allows for flexibility, does not prove bureaucratic for farmers and processors, improves competitiveness in the market and gives consumers valuable information to make informed choices. This is a huge task indeed for negotiation with Council. Grazie. Ora la parola agli oratori che l'hanno chiesta con il catch di AI. Eh, iniziamo con l'onorevole Nicolescu. Mulțumesc, domnul Presidente. Mă alătur colegilor care au salutat până acum propunerea Comisiei de a introduce.